you're clown and furly, yet impudence protects you sairly. I cannot say but ye start rarely or gauze and lays, though faith, I fear ye dine but sparely in sick a place. Ye ugly, creeping, blasted wonder, detested, shunned by saint and sinner, how dare ye set your feet upon her, so fine a lady? Guess somewhere else and seek your dinner on some poor body. Swift, in some beggar's half at squattle. There you may creep and sprawl and sprattle with other kindred jump jumping cattle, where horn nor bane ne'er dare unsettle your thick plantations. Now, hod ye there, oh, you're out of sight below the fathers, snug and tight. Na faith me yet, ye'll no be right till ye've got on it the topmost towering height of Mrs. Bonnet. Oh, my sooth, right bod ye set your nose out, as plump and grey as any grows it. Oh, for some rank mercurial roset or fell red smidum, I'd give ye such a hearty dose on it to dress your drodum. I would not have been surprised to find thee on some old wife's toy or ablin some bit duty boy and wily coat. But Mrs. Fine Lenardi, fie, how dar ye do it? Oh, Jenny, do not toss your head and set your beauties all a bread. Ye little ken what cursed speed the blasties makin. The winks and finger ends I fear are notice taken. Oh, with some power the gifty geus, to see our sills as others see us. It would, for many a blunder free us and foolish notion, what airs in dress and gait would lead us, and in devotion, and in devotion.